The warmest of welcomes to you. We await the conclusion of the pre-game formalities. The teams then, Barcelona against Espanyol. I'm Peter Drury and this is Jim Beglin. A delight to have him on board. Thanks, Peter. It's a pleasure and a privilege for me to be here. It is a derby that means the world to those involved. Espanyol and Barcelona for the right to rule Catalonia. Look at the lineups. So it's down to business here. Roberto. And it's Rafinha. Luis Suarez. It's well blocked and back out it comes. Saved only by poor finishing. Well, he was in such a great position in front of the goal and you'd expect him to score from there, but somehow he's missed it. Some of the best managers I played for insisted on starting games as you mean to go on. And we've just seen a very important opening goal from an extremely talented individual who looks primed for more. He really does look at it. Devastating. I mean, that's the only word you can use to describe that. That kind of breaking power is absolutely devastating. That was fantastic to watch. Barcelona take the early advantage. Rafinha has a look inside the box, hit into the middle, and that should be the keepers. Luis Suarez. Spoon forward. Looks to slip it through. Face to face with the keeper. And he's shown him a clean pair of heels. Ter Stegen demonstrating fabulous determination. He just will not be beaten. Referee's given a throw. Luis Suarez gets it back. Javi Fuego, it's a long forward pass. Aimed long and direct. Shoots! A chance! Get it forward quickly. 
Oh, he's broken through. Oh, it's opened up nicely for him. Oh, he's showing a distinct lack of urgency. Well, look, that's what happens when you're caught in two minds. You just don't know what you're doing. Neymar whipped in. Hits one! And that really should have hit the net. Well, he was right in front of the goal, and he probably should have scored, to be fair. to pay oh that's great stuff from him well he went at it with great confidence and it's not going to stop him from trying again Diego Lopez catches it safely Well positioned to make that interception. Now it's Luis Suarez. And it's Luis Suarez. Javi Fuego has got himself a free kick. Luis Suarez. Neymar. Can he get through? Just off target. Well, when it becomes that speculative, I think it requires something from the very top drawer, and you have to think a little bit more about that. In the end, he's just opted for raw power. Played the ball, that's a foul. Reyes looks like a good ball through, and the flag has stayed down. Oh, the ball's come loose, and the chase is on. Sergio Busquets tries the route one option, and here's the chance to counter. And it's half time here. Well, you obviously have to give credit to the front men for the half-time lead, but I think the midfield can really pat themselves on the back too. They work tirelessly for me. Barcelona are in at half-time with a slender one-goal lead. Here we go again. Barcelona carry a one-goal lead into the second half. It's a goal kick. Sergio Busquets, Iniesta, Rafinha, it's a good run down the right, where could this lead? Played in by Rafinha, Javi Fuego, who's going to make this theirs? Dinha hurtles into the tackle, now it's Neymar. Roberto pumps it upfield. Now it's Iniesta. He'll have a dip! It's a goal! And with that goal comes comfort! <laughs> Lovely goal, perfect poise to set himself for the strike. Barcelona have a couple of goals without reply, it's 
That second goal is such a, a polarising effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal, and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. And it's Busquets. Played out to the right. Luis Suarez with the cross. Goalkeeper's ball. And the ball's come out. That is wayward. OK, they've got nothing to show for it, but that was a really incisive counter-attack, and it's hard to defend against that type of breakaway. Well, they are working very hard to get it wide now, Jim. Yeah, that's, that's true. And is that how you're seeing it? Yeah, I think they've decided to concentrate on, on working the flanks to help the production line. It's, uh, it's where the room is. Neymar. Chance! Too long to get the shot away. Yeah, he just took too long to make his mind up. I mean, what a big opportunity he missed then. Oh, he really wanted that. It's tremendous play on his part, Peter, and he's proving to be a, a right handful throughout the game. There is some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Reyes. Run down the left. What can they make of it? Thrust towards the front line. And the counter is on. It's a loose ball. Tries a long pass towards the front. Gets it back. Neymar. Gets up to head it! More and more and more and more! They are running riot! And the lead is three! It is surely done! A lovely header, but really, it was all about the delivery. Well, as contact goes, that was tremendous, and it helped him to direct it exactly where he wanted into that net. I think when it comes to the aerial department, this fella is definitely no slouch. When the manager called on him, he was only too happy to repay that faith. That's how you make an impact as a sub. You know, when most are tiring, you can impose a freshness and energy to best effect. What an introduction. Barcelona take a three-goal lead, and they are romping out of sight. Massive leap! Really well-taken goal! Over the hills and far away! No catching them now! A wonderful delivery, and all it needed was a touch. Yeah, I just thought he wanted that more than anyone else on the pitch, and it was fully deserved. He gave it everything he had. Barcelona totally rampant here. And it's Piatti. And now they can launch a counter. 
Great run this, he's covered quite a distance. Good run, ultimately thwarted by an astute piece of defending. Crowd appreciates good football all round there. He's away! Oh, it's opened up nicely for him. There is the genius of Luis Suarez! A contest no more, it is nothing short of utter humiliation. It's part of the game, Peter, it has to get ruthless. Sympathy just doesn't play a part. And he checks on the touchline, a change about to occur. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution, he'd become just a little jaded and as a result of that, he was most likely to make a mistake. I think sometimes when the body becomes tired, the brain goes with it. And I think that's happened in this case. Piazzi yeah, He's pulled him up for that challenge and The referee has shown him a yellow card well, There is concern on the faces of the players standing around him here not the cross he had in mind Messi brings the ball forward can he find a finish now oh good stop it had to be who's gonna make this theirs oh well intercepted really alert to the danger well, that's a foul free kicks been given Left's been lenient here. I doubt he'll get too many more chances. And it's Turan. There is the final whistle. Barcelona, winners of a no contest. They just swamped their opponents in superior quality. The end of the game. Reflections? Barcelona made their intentions clear that nothing else but a win would do. These games are always tough, you know, it's, it's not always about form, it's not always about class.